What's up guys? I hope y'all are having an awesome day. So welcome back to Gentry and Sons. So on today's video, guys, we are working on a 14 liter D Detroit. Brax has about got her tuned up. So we got some break-in miles on this thing. It is running and driving. We've been putting some miles on it. And uh, we are hopefully doing the last valve adjustment on it for the next, what, 100, 150,000 miles. Then this is all gonna come off. They're gonna come off. What? Yeah, down the road, gonna come off. It better not. You're the one tightening it down. It'll be on you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Never Braxton. Destructive child. It'll be on. Uh, Trial and error, ain't it, Brax? It'll be on Bryce because he's turning it. Yep. Yeah, we'll blame it on Bryce, won't we? So guys, this thing is a beast. It's a, there's no other way of explaining it is just a, it's an absolute beast of a motor so i love the 12.7s and this is our first real experience with the doing a full 14 liter deal and it is it's a monster it's i like, think it's just an upgrade to 12 liter because some of the stuff they've done to this one i like it a whole lot better oh i love that freaking valve train in the front you ain't gotta worry about the bull gear um so, guys, on these things, you don't have to worry about the bull gear like you have to on 12.7. And I've never, ever seen a motor so effortlessly make the power this thing's making. It's just... Um, we took it up Sweetwater Hill the other day, and 13th gear, you just lay your foot, just wiggle your toe, and this thing's at 40 pounds of boost and just, I mean, eating the pavement up. <laughs> Let's get into the old computer. a ton better. I mean, it sounds pretty so, dang good to me. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, we have to put a seven injectors in it. Sounds better, that's for sure. Oh, Feels better. They, uh, blow out. Yeah, we're gonna put the jakes back on it and then haul it in. I mean, them big injectors are sloppy, anyways. 
So you need just a nice set of fresh 14 liter injectors factory. Get it all done and get a new top. What are you gonna do with that hood? You gonna take it up or not? Uh, he might be going to pick it up. Oh, well that's even better. Weston wanted a, an old school OEM style hood on his truck. So what we done is we sold the hood off of his truck. So he had bought a, a new uh, fiberglass hood from four states and it had already cracked in the center, like right in there. And uh, I mean, it was under warranty. We could have sent it back and I'm sure they would have took care of it. But he, he wanted a true OEM hood and I told him, man, you know, we got to go OEM. Like we gotta have a, we gotta have a metal hood on it. We can't just have some fiberglass hood on this bad boy. So um, the guy that bought the hood um, had just had this one painted. I mean, this one's got new fenders and everything on it. This is a super nice hood, but he had forgot to set his brakes on his truck and it rolled off the hill and bam, you see that little damage right there? Well, it's kind of a lot of damage. Um, so what we're doing, and I'm taking this hood to Peterbilt and they're gonna put a new grill on it, put all new panels in it, the whole nine yards. Um, it's gonna have all new bushings. I mean, every, I want it all brand new. And it's a true old school OEM metal hood. All steel, baby. No fiberglass in this bad boy. And even the new hoods are, they're not all steel. They're steel and fiberglass on the inside. So um, we lucked up and got this thing and with putting all new panels and everything in it, we're literally, for what I sold the other hood for, just swapping money. By the time we get it painted, we'll have, for what I sold his hood for, um, that's what we're gonna have in that hood. So just like pretty much trading it for a fiberglass hood for a metal hood. And it's gonna be all brand new panels and new grill, the whole nine yards. So pretty much getting a new hood for a lot cheaper than going out and buying one because them things are like they start out at six grand right now so by the time we got the grill put in it and everything we're gonna have like ten thousand dollars in a in a new hood and this way we're gonna have about half of that in it but we got to take it to peterbilt they're gonna work on it and and get it all fixed up that's that was a super nice hood wasn't it that sucks that yeah. happened that guy yeah that's 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 a true metal so the owner operator that we traded drove down here and we actually put the blue hood on his truck for him and and kept that one was his truck blue no it was that color right there he just had it painted literally put that hood on there new and he forgot to set his brakes that's what he told us too so he was straight up he was a good guy a really good guy it was a pleasure to do business with, and he hung out down here for the day. Really cool guy. When we used to haul milk, you could set your brakes. Yeah, but mine didn't roll off the hill and hit a darn uh, thing. I knew I didn't set my brakes. You were on the phone, but I forgot to tell you. Oh, I know. That's what happened. You talk on the phone, and I mean, people make mistakes. That's, that is one thing about driving these trucks. You make a mistake, and don't take much to really cause some damage. I don't think I stopped it was the trailer. Um, I had the trailer brake set. I just didn't have the truck brake set. Mm. Oh, the trailer had it held. You remember all that stuff, don't you? Tag <laughs> on it. <laughs> Everything I've ever done wrong. He's like, Dad, remember this? <laughs> Hey, Dad, is there actual lights in there, or is that just it? No, that's out. It's actually lights. Mm -hmm. All right, jakes are on it. Okay, we got to adjust these jakes. Well, well they said on 20. 20. So, uh, give me a feel of gauge. Right, but still. All right, fire it up, Braxy boy. Let's see what she got. Sounds good. So good. Yeah, that motor sounds good.
Very smooth. How much oil pressure we got? How much? 50 at idle. Dang gone, boys. We must have done something right on this deal. What do you think about the shelves? I like it. I'm taking over my really good thing. All the guns. All this set up. Go over here. Now I get a couple carburetors. Couple carbs. Um look at my paint shelf. I'm really happy with my paint shelf. Got my paint guns over here. What do you think, Braxton? Now Braxton don't lose all our tools again. Find our tools are up there in the office. I know, up there in his darn little toy car thing, RC shop up there. Got all of our filter or funnels over here. There's our filters. Um, we're still building shelves and organizing, but for the most part, they're it's actually turning out pretty cool. We would put shelves up by the time we start building our shop, wouldn't we? <laughs> But guys, we got, I mean, we've done a lot of work here and we've just, we've really outgrown this place. It's going to be a good trailer shop, but as far as, uh, you know, big truck shop, it's, we just really outgrowed it. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Oh, you want four tanks on it? It's your truck. Use your imagination, buddy. Use your imagination. Anyways, guys, um, I can't really do much testing with that thing. It's getting really dark out tonight. I'm going to hook it to the cattle trailer tomorrow, and we're going to test it. Um, one thing I believe in is when we put a motor together is we run the crap out of it before it leaves. I want to know that it is good to go. So we put a cattle trailer behind it and uh, take it up the mountain and just run her all out. And if she makes it to the top, that's when I you know put my seal of approval on it so we will be doing that tomorrow hopefully it holds together and uh can go to work all right honey show them how this beast works so guys this ain't a paid advertisement this is a, something we got that is really cool and it's really beneficial so if you want to get some brownie points with your wife to get you one of these bad boys i love it so is that all the cameras yeah this is all of them she's locked on you Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, turn the mic off. That is so freaking awesome. <laughs> Look, there we are, guys, right there. And watch. Let's do it outside. Let's see what the chickens are doing. Let's see what the cab over is doing. It's not sure who to look for. We can't see the chickens. I could show them both of us. That is so cool. Alexa, turn on Netflix. Here's what I found. What? Oh. 
Oh, it even shows the camera that up so in the left cool. corner. That, what is that, a multitasking function? That is so awesome. Alexa. So now you can, while you're cooking, can I, I can do a lot of things. Dinner. Alexa, I want white chicken chili for supper. Show my wife the recipe. Here are the popular recipes for the day. Look oh, at that showing day. you, look. Yep. She even knows it's you. That's what I made yesterday, chili. Look at that. That is so awesome. Look at those. Guys, you got to get one of these. They are cool. I don't know how much it costs because... Hey, Alexa, Everything's thirty dollars in this here. house. Whatever. Oh, I got it on Amazon. Is this thirty dollars? Alexa, can I? Make <laughs> I don't even want to know. But <laughs> she loves that thing, and she's been really happy since she's got it. So, uh, and I like it too. So I can tell her what I want for dinner. All I have to do is tell Alexa, and Alexa will be sure to let her know what I want for dinner. So we're back on the classic. Now the old lady's happy with her new gadget i can work all day today all right 75 or so i'm not liking the the injector i'm not liking these injectors so i'm either going to put a set in it if this clears it up it's got just a little bit of a i can't say it's a miss but i just don't really like the way it's not a miss but it's also um it's just not as smooth as I would want it to be. So I guess I could say that, which could be the trim code. So we're gonna go through and set all the trim codes the same and see if that helps it. This might fix it actually, because it has been tuned. I'm really hoping this helps it. If not, it's gonna be getting a brand new set of injectors. Just a factory set. These are like a marine style injector, so they're usually a little sloppy anyway. But we don't want sloppy. We want fuel mileage. We want efficiency. We want we want all that. All right, let's fire this old girl up. Ooh, dang! That's actually made quite a bit of a difference. Better. I think the only thing we can do guys is go hook it to a trailer and just try it out to see what it'll do. The, my favorite part of my job or the favorite part of what I do is uh, once we get these motors built I love this part because we get to torture test it. All right, here we go. Boost pressure and all of our temperatures. All right, let's do this thing. Let's go hook it to a trailer and torture test it. Clutch feels good. Brakes feel good. We gotta go get the cattle trailer. can feel this pedal that's just barely I mean you just wiggle your toe just a hair I mean this motor makes power so effortlessly it is absolutely insane how effort there's no effort holy crap all right this is just this is why I like Detroit's and I love this engine. I've always been scared of them because everybody's always like, oh yeah, stay away from the 14 liter. So I hadn't really messed with them a whole lot. But if you build them right, they will hold up. They just make so much power factory. And I think when they try to do the EGR on them and all that stuff, but this is a non-EGR engine. So this is a true 99 model motor. I'll see you guys in a minute. We're gonna go over here and get this trailer and you'll see what she's made of. So here it is. She is hooked up. And like I said, we hooked it to the cattle trailer. So this thing, this is a Wilson. 
cattle wagon, which in the cattle world, either a Merritt or a Wilson is the, be the best way to go. So we are looking at getting a new Merritt. Uh, it's not new, it's a 2019 triple axle. So it'll have those two tandems, plus you, and then you'll have a toolbox in between and then a drop axle in the back. So, you know, when you're hauling 50, 60,000 pounds of cattle, you drop that third axle and she just rides like a Cadillac. Now, this trailer pulls awesome and it, and it hauls awesome, like it really does, it rides smooth. But with these axles all the way in the back, you really gotta have a driver that knows what they're doing because they'll get themselves in trouble pretty quickly. So when you come on with us and you start pulling cattle, you know, I've had about 400 phone calls since I put up the last video talking about hiring somebody to haul cattle. 90% um, of them's like, hey, I've always wanted to haul cattle and I'm willing to give it a shot. And about 10% of them claims to have tons of cattle hauling experience and they're, you know, best cattle haulers in the world. So um, when you take off with us, this will be the trailer that you pull because this trailer costs like twenty dollars or $25,000 versus a $100,000 Merit or $80,000 Merit. So this is what you'll start out with. It's an easy loading trailer. I mean, it is a good trailer. I mean, I like pulling it, but you know, most of your bull rack guys, they want to have a bunch of big, you know, 200 lights on each side, polished out, triple axle, which is, I like them too, but um, let's go see what this thing's made of. This trailer's pretty heavy and it pulls hard, so let's see what we got. All right, we're at 183 on temp. Uh, air inlet, fuel, and our oil is good, so let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go climb a hill. I wanna go climb a hill. Oh, baby, this thing's got some ice cold air on it. Come on, oh, this thing was just meant to be hooked to a cattle wagon. It was just meant to be hooked to it. So far, so good. No leaks. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, girl, let's go see what you got. Let's go see. Uh, that new big 2250 Easy Clutch is pretty nice taking off. It's like a slipper clutch. Oh, 
there, baby. Who's it? Good brakes, too. Smooth brakes. Good. Well, that oil temperature stay right with the coolant. That's what you want, too. See, he's got a little bit of black smoke still. So I gotta get with Lawrence and clean that up a little bit. Man, this thing goes. I really wish y'all could, like, I know this video does this truck no justice. Just, I mean, the torque is so unreal. Wish you could just feel it. It's scary strong. Like, that's how strong it is. Like, you know, want to twist the frame kind of strong or rip a dry shaft out of it. That is awesome. Hit the interstate, run it down the interstate a little bit, and then go try out Sweetwater Hill. I just ain't believing how it pulls. I just, man, I could never would have imagined a motor putting out this kind of power this easy. That turbo just sings. Do a quick check, make sure we ain't got no fluids leaking. Well, I know one thing, this thing's got some cold air in it. We just gassed it back up today.
it and we're going to go hit Sweetwater Hill. go so that's the that's the classic dad's gonna go for a ride in it with me real quick i want to kind of see what he thinks about it but that's gonna finish off today's video let me know what you think about this 14 liter and you guys that's got experience with 14 liters give me your opinions on it let me know down in the comments you guys we love y'all and we will see you on the next video